progressive conservative leader Jamie Bailey wants to create a better business environment, you know, with lower taxes, lower power rates. But there is a small, lesser known party that says the conservatives, conservatives actually have it all wrong and that the entire system needs to be reformed. This party is calling for, quote, prosperity and democracy in Nova Scotia. Paige McPherson tells, all, tells us all about this from Halifax. Well, that's right, David. While the three major parties presented their competing economic visions at today's radio debate, one party says that they're all just status quo and they have no vision at all. Jonathan Dean is the leader of the Atlantica Party of Nova Scotia, a party focused on fiscal responsibility, democratic reform, and shrinking the size of government. They're proposing bold policies this election to make Nova Scotia a better place to live and do business. Our proposal is to revitalize the private sector here in Nova Scotia. First, we want to reduce the size of government, roll it back five years, back to a level in 2008, when the population was the same, and take that savings and lower income taxes here in Nova Scotia to the lowest in Canada. Second, we want to eliminate all business tax here in the province to create a real tax-free zone for Nova Scotia business. Those two measures alone will put $1.5 billion back into the hands of private individuals and businesses. The Atlantica Party is running several candidates this election and consistently releases alternative budgets to challenge those of the government. But this time around, they're focused on bloated spending. Uh, the last thing Nova Scotia needs is more spending. Over the last five years, our spending has increased 20%, while our population is actually flat or may have actually declined a little bit. And what are the three parties proposing in this election campaign? More spending. So I ask you, where's the future in that? There is no future in that. We need big change here in Nova Scotia, and we're prepared to bring it. Dean says a victory for the Atlantica Party would be to have one of their candidates not come in last this election. He says he'll continue to hold the government to account, whomever that government may be, and that the Atlantica Party is a long-term project with the ultimate goal of renewing the economy in Nova Scotia. All right, thank you so much, Paige. Uh, now listen. Paige is working hard, and we want to make sure everybody can watch what Paige McPherson is reporting on. Our Nova Scotia politics coverage, we are going wire to wire right through to the final ballot count on October the 8th. So if you have friends or family in Nova Scotia and you love politics, there's no other national news network that's going to cover it like we do. You might have Nova Scotian friends out in Alberta. Tell them about it. Tell them uh, you can watch uh, our coverage right here. Now, in Nova Scotia, here's where you get us. On Eastlink, 663 on Shaw Direct, 149 or 517. And on Bell, you can catch us at 506. So once again, there is the channels that we can be found on, on your cable and television uh, systems uh, in Nova Scotia. So please tell all your friends. We, we do this at six uh, Eastern, eight Eastern, and 11 Eastern.